15 things you didn't know about Spotify. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today revealing some interesting and surprising facts about the number one music streaming service, Spotify. The podcast, video, and music service called Spotify had its beginnings in Stockholm, Sweden. It's actually a free service, though if a listener does not pay, they'll be listening to advertisements as well. If they do pay, they can listen to as much music as they want, ad-free. It's available worldwide and can be used with most smartphones and on most computers. It's also a social device as listeners can link up to share music, playlists, videos, and podcasts. They can also make playlists together. It's a great way for up-and-coming artists to be discovered and it has millions of users worldwide. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We're excited about Spotify's ability to promote artists and to help people share their tastes and musical preferences. So let's take a closer look now at the music streaming site with the 15 things you didn't know about Spotify. Number one, Spotify is one of the first companies to file for direct listing for $1 billion. Spotify filed for a direct listing of its shares, which is when a company finds an offering without raising new capital. Thus, they're able to make money without using a banker. The company would like to be able to trade on the New York Stock Exchange, which would allow employees and investors to sell their shares without the company needing to spend money on brokers. The company is available in more than 60 countries now and is the biggest in the world, followed by Google. Number 2. Spotify may have a Siri or Alexa The company is playing with a voice control interface that is similar to Alexa or Siri. They have the new feature in the spacebar, so you can only find it if you're looking for it. Once you type something into the search bar, you can find a playlist and also spot a microphone that will allow you to, eventually, talk to a voice control interface. What happens is that users will be able to ask it to do things. For instance, you can say, find the Beatles, or find punk playlist, or even show me the music I play most frequently. This should allow it to be free of its current reliance on Apple's Siri and Amazon's Alexa. Number 3. Spotify Plays Musicians Based on Their Popularity Spotify pays as a result of the number of artists plays and a quantity of the total number of songs that have been played on Spotify. This means that there is no fixed price, which can, at times, upset artists. There have been certain musicians, including Radiohead and Taylor Swift, who've complained about Spotify and the amount they get paid. However, artists such as singer-songwriter Katie Shaw believe that Spotify pays well, and the problem is actually the record labels. Zoe Keating, another musician who specializes in the cello, is a Spotify advocate, and she says she was paid $1,500 through Spotify. Number 4. Discover Weekly Knows What You Want Spotify has a list called Discover Weekly that knows what you want. Some people know this, but several don't, as it's not used as often as some may think. Discover Weekly will figure out what type of music you listen to through algorithms, and it'll make your music selection catered to your specific, unique taste. Discover Weekly includes 30 songs that you're sure to love because they're so similar to your taste, but difficult to find. This is a unique aspect of Spotify that Pandora doesn't exactly offer, and it opens up new doors for both listeners and artists. Number 5. It has over $4 billion in annual revenues Spotify has more than 71 million premium subscribers and is worth over $4 billion in annual revenues. It is, of course, the leader in the music running market. Surprisingly, Spotify produced $4.9 billion in 2017, which was up 39%. However, Spotify's bills occurred quickly, which did cause some losses. The company spent over $3.8 billion on distribution as well. Number 6. Spotify Works Remotely People can actually control Spotify on their computer, on their TV, on their stereos, through their smartphones. This is great because you don't have to leave the sofa to change what you're listening to, and you can even control it from afar. Users can choose to listen to Spotify on Windows, Mac operating systems and Linux computers, or on iOS, Windows, and Android smartphones and tablets. Number 7. Spotify Has Audiobooks 
Although a lot of people enjoy listening to Audible through iTunes, they don't have to because Spotify has audiobooks also. They have books read by celebrities and new books as well as the classics. Everything from children's books to self-help books to history books, books about motivation and strategies. So, you can actually listen to your favorite books while you're driving, walking, or on a bus without any effort at all and without spending any extra money. Number 8. It finally has The Beatles Although the Beatles weren't on Spotify for several years, finally, just after Christmas in 2016, the Beatles music appeared. Shockingly, since then, the Beatles music has been played 260 million times on Spotify. Although many would think that the people listening to the band were born in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, many of the listeners are millennials. The sound is universal. Number 9. Spotify is a global leader it began in just 2006 and is already possibly going to have a $13 billion US market listing in 2018. It has reportedly over 60 million subscribers and over 140 million users total. A whopping 30 million songs are available on Spotify, so anyone worldwide can find what they're looking for. Number 10. It may have to compete with Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a multi-billionaire luxury car manufacturer who's talking about starting up his own version of Spotify. He states that it'll be a little bit different from Spotify and be a bit more like Pandora and be paired with Tesla. Tesla interestingly sold roughly 100,000 cars last year and has roughly 400,000 pre-orders for its new vehicle. Click on the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Elon Musk to learn more about it. Number 11. It has stand-up comedy. Most people are unaware that Spotify actually has stand-up comedy as well, so if you're on a long plane ride or bus journey and music isn't entertaining enough or just not hitting the spot, you can access stand-up comedy on Spotify. There are great comedians such as Chris Rock discussing culture, race, and family, and Amy Schumer discussing the body and women. Even Aziz Ansari has some stand-up comedy about relationships, social media, India, TV, and texting. This is sure to keep anyone interested, as the playlist is 478 hours long. Number 12. There's a Spotify for the artists, too. In 2013, Spotify initiated a new concept called Spotify for Artists, which displayed its data and business model. The company operates under what is called a freemium model, meaning that the fundamental services are free. Extras are offered through subscriptions. The company is paid when they sell subscriptions and through advertisers. Recently, Spotify announced that artists will be able to create new album releases that will only be available on Spotify Premium. Number 13. They were wrongly accused of using fake artists. In 2016, a website called Music Business Worldwide ran an article accusing Spotify of secretly paying producers a flat fee to create tracks within specific musical guidelines, typically instrumental music in various genres, and then using these generic tracks to fill their curated playlists under pseudonym band titles, thus saving millions of dollars in royalty fees. Have a listen and see if you can determine if they're saving money this way. The company, of course, denies these allegations. Number 14. They add over 20,000 songs per day. As of February 2018, Spotify has a total of over 30 million songs in every category imaginable, but this number is constantly increasing as they add over 20,000 songs daily. There are over 2 billion Spotify playlists, and about 5 million playlists are created daily. In 2015 alone, there were 20 billion hours of music streamed on Spotify. These statistics show just how quickly the service is growing and how its revenue will increase year after year. Number 15. Spotify pays their artists more than YouTube. Spotify's payments will vary depending on the labels and the royalties. However, for YouTube, the payments depend on how often the video was played, how much of it they watched, and how many people commented on it. Spotify gets paid depending on whether the listener is a paid subscriber. YouTube can also depend on the agreements and the license, as they have teamed up with Vimo and certain artists. In any case, for the most part, with a few exceptions including Taylor Swift, those with music on Spotify do get paid more. Now that you've learned some more about Spotify, we'd like to know, do you use Spotify? If not, what music streaming service do you use? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? 
Of course. Here's your bonus fact for sticking with us all the way to the end. Number 16. They're projected to reach 100 million paid subscribers by 2020. As of February 2018, Spotify has 71 million paid subscribers and 159 million active users. They are projected to reach 100 million paid subscribers by 2020. Spotify is currently available in over 60 countries and is available in most of Europe, most of the Americas, New Zealand, Australia, and parts of Asia. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.